pull up by the roots. Charles no mercy stripped Beatrice, Eugene the titles has got too close to Harry. King Charles is on his quest to slim down the monarchy, and he allegedly made his first big move by stripping Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie of their royal titles. A source told Globe that Prince Andrew's daughters made the mistake of getting too close to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And the bond that they formed is what triggered King Charles to strip them of their titles. The new king is furious because Beatrice, in particular, acted as Harry and Meghan's champion in the royal court. Charles sees his niece as a traitor, the source said. The source added that King Charles is trying to justify his decision as to why he removed his niece's royal titles. But the truth is, he wants the world to know that whoever crosses him will be out. And this also applies to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And that includes Harry and Meghan, who is now officially irrelevant after being formally demoted in the palace pecking order recently posted online. It can't be any clearer, Meghan and Harry are out and there's no way they'll ever come back, the source said. Other than the Sussexes and those who are on their side, the source claimed that King Charles has also been cutting ties to those who have been publicly criticizing his wife, Queen Consort Camilla. So far, at least 100 top staffers and advisors have been given the sack and the word is more are marked for similar fates later this year. His Majesty is determined to stamp out all opposition to his efforts to reshape the monarchy in his image and make sure everyone understands Camilla's word is the law too, the source said. However, one should take the tabloid's claims with a grain of salt. There are talks regarding the possibility of Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie losing their royal titles. But King Charles has not made an official decision regarding the matter. It's not also true that King Charles has been firing palace staffers left and right. If he has then this would already be reported by reputable sources. Lastly, King Charles did not cut ties with Prince Harry and Markle. In fact, he has been extending olive branches to them. Other than giving the couple a shout-out during his speech, a photo of the couple is also displayed in his home in Buckingham Palace. Looks like King Charles is about to make some changes when it comes to the royal family. The Telegraph reports that Charles wants to change a law regarding who can serve as an official stand-in should he be indisposed. Some background, under the 1937 Regency Act, the monarch's spouse, the Queen Consort Camilla, in this case, as well as the four adults next in line to the throne, Prince William, Prince Harry, Prince Andrew, and Princess Beatrice, can be, as the Telegraph puts it, deployed as councillors of state on official business. But Charles wants to change the law so that this rule only applies to working members of the royal family, meaning everyone on this list other than Prince William would no longer be in line to be councillors of state. Instead, it seems likely that the Earl of Wessex, King Charles' brother, Prince Edward, and the Princess Royal, King Charles' sister, Princess Anne, will fill these roles. Kate Middleton, Prince William's wife, could also find herself included in the lineup. How often are monarchs indisposed? It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. In fact it recently happened in May, when Charles, then Prince of Wales, and Prince William attended the state opening of Parliament on behalf of Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth.